I'm Sheila Heyman and I think generally I could say that I'm a teller of stories in film, in video, in digital media and in words of various kinds and in music. My superpower is storytelling and having a particular vision. My big hero is my great-great-great-grandmother Fanny Mendelssohn because she was really scary but she was also really kind. She was fantastic musician, but she was also a wife and mother. Well, I wanted to be a ballet dancer, like lots of little girls, because I wanted to be able to fly, and it felt like flying. Then I wanted to be a Victorian historian, I now remember. Music is a huge passion of mine. I love music of all kinds, because it, and music is what gives me hope for the world. I'm very passionate about reclaiming the beauty and magic of ordinary humanity. So I've been interested in culture and technology. I made my first film about robots in 1985, and then I made a film called The Electronic Frontier, which is about the coming digital revolution just at the dawn of it and how it was going to change everything. And so now I'm returning to it here at the lab with a lens of the what we now know about human intelligence, which is embodied, you know, we are animals, we're not machines, and our intelligence is distributed throughout our bodies, and we are meant to use our bodies and use all our senses all the time. I'm very, very passionate about reclaiming the superpowers that all of us have as animals, as creatures with, uh, with a body and with families and, and with a life cycle. It sometimes takes a long time to figure out what it is that you actually want to say, in a film or in a book or in an article or whatever it is and you have to just be able to sit with that uncertainty have the patience to know that you will know it when you when it arrives that you will know when you got there and then of course there's the whole other process of making it happen and getting it funded and all of that but that's much easier once you know what it is that you want to say i think jokes undoubtedly the capacity to make jokes and to laugh at them and the, and the hunger to, to laugh, you know, we all want to laugh. That capacity to, to just enjoy the pleasure of each other's company and have a laugh is the thing that I most value. If I could interview anybody, it would be my great-great-great-grandmother Fanny Mendelssohn and what I would ask her is what kept her going all those years because she had an entire life where she wrote music every single day that she knew she would never hear performed, that would never be performed anywhere, that she would only ever hear in her head, and yet she went on doing it. When you, when you learn about making films, it's all about, you have to understand human vision, but mostly you have to understand human psychology. And the way we look at the world, we don't scan an entire room in an undifferentiated way. We, we look at one particular thing in the room that is of interest to us, and that's the thing that we focus on. So framing and, and, and the image design in a film is all about where do you want the audience to look? Where do you want the viewer to have their attention? What do you want them to focus on? What is the future of filmmaking? I think the answer is that people need to learn to leave things out, because actually what you leave out of the frame is as important as what you put in. The human brain can only process so many things, and the filmmaker's job is to tell the person watching the film what they should be interested in and what they should be looking at and to lead them on to expect the next thing that they're going to see. 